This is my song right here. I love this song. CBT and Naruto. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arizona Summer Classic. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome Rich Loader alongside Frank Nabilo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. We're here at the par four first, and Frank, what's the best play? Off the championship tee, it's gonna take a big drive to carry that bunker, so you're gonna have to be a little right of it, or perhaps short but just over 400 yards, a rather modest length par four, and certainly a great chance to get off with a birdie. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Had a birdie here yesterday, in their close, great opportunity for another one. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. 
That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again. Has his par. Teed up here at the par for a second. Frank, what do players need to look out for off the tee? This hole has been lengthened in 2014, some 30 plus yards. Bunkering down the right has also changed, making this drive a little bit more important now. You can't just blaze away over the hill. Green also changed with the addition of two bunkers on the left side. Frank, one of the great moments in tournament history here in Scottsdale, you go back to 1996, the sudden death playoff between Phil Mickelson and Justin Leonard. Mickelson has always been the hero out here because he went to Arizona State. Yeah, and it still runs through his veins, Red Shot. There was such an important win for him because to do it in front of people that he considered his home crowd uh, was huge. And then also to do it in a playoff where, you know, obviously you know it's win or lose. So for Mickelson, 1996 and TPC Scottsdale, certainly ring home. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. That is just a beautiful shot. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. This has really been a challenge all day long with these winds coming from different directions, changing speeds. It's gone from 15 upwards to 25 miles per hour. Really a test for the players. Well, how do you like that? He's holding. Just a phenomenal. That's what we're talking about. Right there. Ew. Let's get it. Let's now the go. third hole, it's a par five, and how does this one set up, Frank? It's a nice yardage uh, around that 550, 560 yard mark. So a good drive. You can certainly reach the par five and two. You've got to flash it across uh, a little bit of a desert there. This green has been completely changed in 2014, and the addition of one bunker to that right side used to be two. Three fifteen. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Good looking shot right here. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Remember, out of the rough, expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. <laughs> Putting all of his talents on display here from the rough, and he knocks it really close. Beautiful shot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Almost. Wow. Can't booty them all, Rich. And he's putting for par now. It's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par, and you keep things steady. 
Here now with the par three fourth. Frank, what's the setup here? Plays a little downhill, so it won't play its full 180 yards. You can perhaps uh, take one club off the uh, decision off the tee. The green, as you can see now, is a little wider than what it was deep. Um, the bunkering, though, is, uh, is certainly excellent. There's a little pop bunker on the right side, one there if you come up a little short, and there's another one on the left side should you pull your tee shot. This one has a chance to be close. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. 15 feet away. Once considered the best player at the college level, our featured golfer makes birdie sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Frank, this is a demanding driving hole, the par four fifth. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. He's gone for a little extra. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, how impressive is this performance so far? You've got to tip your hat. Really, just uh, play good from the first hole on. Uh, rhythm is good. Hit a lot of good shots. Very smart, uh, very, very smart decision making as well. Seems to like it. Looks like it's. Headed for the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Good putt. Now to the par four or six, decision time, Frank. Driver, where do you go with three wood? A lot of that's gonna depend on if there's any breeze. If the breeze is at your back, you can drive it all the way down the right side and take those two bunkers down the right completely out of play. This hole's been stiffened up though. The length hasn't increased, but that bunkering in that choke point. So the strategy, do you have the length to get past them? Or if you have to lay up, it's gonna leave a much longer second shot. So a little slow out of the gates, but now Frank's starting to pick it up. Yeah, and into the ebb and flow of the game. We know you can't hit good shots all the time, so if you can just ride out the little bad patches like now, then things can still get up very quickly. See how they do on this approach. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Oh, good roll, good putt. Frank, where's the difficulty here on the seventh hole, the par three of more than 200 yards? Well, Rich, uh, front hole locations are always uh, probably the toughest here because that's the narrowest part of the green. Bunkering really hasn't changed, um, and the green still does widen up, but the hole tends to play slightly uphill. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. And getting ready for the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now here at the par four eight, slight dogleg to the left, Frank. And this dogleg's made more severe now by the addition of two bunkers. Uh, this was a bunkerless hole off the tee in years gone by, but those two bunkers certainly make this a sharper dogleg. And because it forces the player to go down the right side, adds length to the already long 475 yards. 
Well, that's the way you draw it up here at the eighth. You want to get it out there. He's done that, and he's kept it in the fairway. Second shot. Good look at the green. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Trying to make yet another birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Here at the par four ninth hole, Frank, what's the strategy off the tee? Well, there's one bunker down the uh, right side that you have to be very wary of. 325 yards to carry that, so it's very much in play and just over 290 to reach it. Ideally, you have to go left about that down the left side. But uh, really, this is a second shot hole because this green is not very deep. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself it is an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tee it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. And he has it for birdie. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Oh, that's fine. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10th. What a turn of events. Just turned this round upside down. Started off slow, but then managed to pick up the pace and back on track now. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. This is an 11-foot putt. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Moving on to the 11th hole, Frank Water all along the left side, 472 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, this one's weird because the tees are a little off center. They start down the right side, which makes it into a dog leg. And uh, you mentioned the water. It always comes into play. And there are zero fairway bunkers. You don't need them here at 11 because really it's all about the tee shot. Find the fairway. Then uh, even though it's a long par four, you should be able to at least attack that green safely. Miss the fairway to the right, which is the barrel outside, and your problems are just starting. This is a good looking shot. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Par 3 12th may not be as famous as the par 3 16th, but Frank, you think this may be a tougher and even better hole? We see more bogeys and double bogeys here on 12 than 16 will ever see. And courtesy of the water behind and to the right of the screen, 
If you're going to bail out, find one of those bunkers. A good bunker player obviously can get it up and down, but it's still no snack trying to record your par 3 at 12. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's full melody now. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oh yeah, he's made it for a birdie. To the par 5, 13 here at TPC Scottsdale. Lots of danger left and right of this tight fairway, Frank. This hole has really changed over the years. It used to be a split fairway that no longer exists. That bunker you can see down the left side, which you can't carry, really defines the left side of this hole. Water still in play down the right, and uh, big change here is the bunkering along the left front and left side of this green. So you can't just blaze away and comfortably expect to hit 13 and two anymore. Wait, this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Good contact, good result. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not gonna see much better than that all day today. This would give him an eagle on the car. Continues to roll the ball very well. Par 5, 13, Frank, what kind of scoring opportunity is this? Anytime you get on a par 5, obviously birdies and eagles come to mind. 13's been changed a little bit over the years. The split fairway's gone now, it's just one fairway. Water in play, bunker on the left side, they certainly define this fairway. And they've toughened up the front and left side of this par 5 uh, green. The longer hitter, the high ball hitter, Still, you get a reward at 13. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. This looks like it's going to find the target. That is a really good shot landing close to the flag stick. Shouldn't be a problem here. Beautifully done. Nice birdie. Great scoring opportunity here at the par 5 15th, but Frank, I'm wondering, as a player, is your mind beginning to think about what's ahead at that par 3 16th hole? Oh, they are. This, this is really the uh, finishing stretch at TPC uh, Scottsdale where you get all these swing holes. 15 is a swing hole. 16, 17 and 18 where so many changes in the score can actually happen. But this one here is all about finding the fairway. A good drive down here will be well rewarded because you'll have a chance to reach this par 5 and 2. Oh, if this is up, it's good. Oh, 
That club must have melted after that one. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Couldn't have done much better than that. Eagle is very possible. Now the third shot at the par five. Wow, Nate Siegel makes everybody else look sort of average, Frank. And look at the size of that lead on the leaderboard now. Well, here we are at the 16th hole, looking at just over 160 yards. Doesn't seem all that daunting, Frank. But 160 yards with 20,000 people, horned into a little stadium in the desert, that makes it a different story. It certainly is. This was one hole, too, where Tom Watson would send his caddy forward. He would stay back by 15. His caddy would get his yardage. Watson would simply walk on the tee. His caddy would give him the club. He would not go through his normal routine. He would simply just head away. It was one hole that he never wanted to think about. It might look simple, but it's what the player feels. Super Bowl type, <laughs> Super Bowl type atmosphere. I like it. I like it. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor. Right? All right. Rather nice shot. All right. I mean, that's how the game Ooh. is played. Right there. He's just making it look close. so easy. That birdie coming up for me. Nice. Close enough. Let's get it. Let's go. Just the tap in to finish the hole. <laughs> just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, when you get to the 17th hole, we always recall maybe the single most bizarre shot in the history of golf. Yeah, everybody talks about maybe a hole in one at 16, but really 17. And the player was Andrew McGee. It was a good tee shot, don't get me wrong. But Rich needed an assist. Well, the assist came from Tom Byram, whose brother Kurt is a commentator for the Golf Channel. Tom Byram was just minding his own business, standing on the green, sort of leaning on his putter, and you know what happened. Yeah, the ball hit Tom Byron's putter and then Kareem into the hole. So, 17. Made famous a little bit of history with a couple of names to drag up from the past. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. To the 18th hole now, and Frank, the original designers stepped in, and, and they made this hole quite a bit more challenging. Yeah, they certainly have stiffened it up. Um, the longest hitters in the game, the... The Dustin Johnsons, the Bubba Watsons, the JB Holmes used to take it completely over the lake down the left side where there was just one poultry bunker. Now there's a series of bunkers, almost like the church pews at Oakmont, that are littered down the left side, stopping that attack. You're going to have to respect this hole that much more off the tee. Find the fairway. It's still a short iron end, but this finishing hole is now a proper finishing hole. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. 
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. He's going to love that one, Frank. Sensation effort. Oh, just eat, a, eat that up. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf. Uh, we might say, need oh, to stay out yeah. of your own way and keep it up. Uh, <laughs> the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament. Shout out to 2019 VMAs in three days. Um, August 26, 2019. Today's August 23, 2019. And um, sad for it. Shout out to Tori Kelly there. Came out this month. About 14 years ago, August 9, 2019. It's a third album. It's called Spy by True Events. I bought it. That's the whole thing. I love it. It's amazing. Keep chaos. Um, Tori Kelly has Tori Kelly fans. are going to keep loving supporting you. So yeah, and I'm excited for the 2019 Video Music Awards in three days. See you later, and all the other amazing artists. Um, August 26, 2019. With that being said, see you soon, Arthur. Over and out.